In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your Achilles problems once and for all, and what types of treatments aren't very helpful, and which ones could actually even aggravate it. Researchers on Achilles tendinopathy all seem to agree on one thing, that eccentric contraction exercises, lengthening the calf muscles while they're under load, are the gold standard for Achilles rehab. So start here. Raise your body up on both feet and then slowly lower down again over three to four seconds. If it hurts the tendon moving in either direction, more than a two or three out of 10, use your hands to take some of your body weight. Never do any exercise that hurts more than two or three out of 10. The aim is to do three sets of 15. And the latest thinking is to do this every second day to allow the tendon to recover. But err on the side of caution the first day because Achilles soreness often doesn't appear until the next day. Do this exercise on the ground to start with. Don't do them off the end of a step so that your heel ends up lower than your forefoot, especially if your Achilles pain is right down low on the heel. If the double leg version is too easy to begin with, which is often the case, progress to lifting on both legs but then lowering down on one leg. Then, over time, you can add 10, 20, and then 30 kilogram weights. Keep within the two to three out of 10 soreness criteria when deciding to advance to the next level. About the time that you've been doing the eccentric contractions on one leg for a week or so, start replacing one of the sets with heavy, slow resistance. A slow double leg raise, three seconds up and three seconds down. Do 15 reps to start with. Again, do these exercises on the ground to start off with, not off the end of the step. You can add exercises in the lowered heel position right at the end of your rehab. Now, firstly, we start adding weight in 10 kilo increments until about 30 or 40 kilograms of weight only progressing to the next weight once we can do the new weight within that two or three out of 10 scale. With each extra 10 kilograms, reduce the reps slowly, starting at 12 reps with 10 kilograms and working down to six reps for the higher weights. Once that's easy, we progress onto single leg lifts, three seconds up and three seconds down, slowly adding weight again. If the tendon gets a bit more sore than normal the next day, back off the weight until it settles. Now about the time that you start exercise two, the standing heavy resistance exercises, you can replace one other set with bent leg heavy slow resistance raises with the weight over the knee. Again, three seconds up, three seconds down, adding weight and reducing the reps in the same way. This works on the soleus portion of the calf muscle and loads a slightly different part of the tendon. So in the end, we're doing one set of 15 eccentric contractions, one set of heavy slow resistance raises going up and down slowly, and one set of the bent leg version every second day. Another bit you probably don't want to hear is that Achilles rehab normally takes about 12 weeks, sometimes even longer. Achilles treatment is notoriously slow. When it comes to cross friction on the Achilles tendon, it seems that rubbing across the fibers of the tendon can give a short-term analgesic effect. But whether this can give you any long-term benefits is questionable. Now, considering the recommended cross-friction time is between 10 and 20 minutes a day, and it can aggravate some cases, there's probably better use of your time. Now, you'd think that ice would be good for an inflamed tendon, but there's some thought that it could reduce the revascularization of the tendon, reducing healing. And static stretching isn't going to help you much either. It can aggravate cases of low Achilles pain where the tendon attaches to the heel because it compresses the tendon against the heel bone. Do you need to stop training? Well, Achilles tendinopathy is essentially a load problem, so back off your training load, but research indicates that you don't have to stop completely. Just be aware that sometimes the increase in load that causes Achilles tendinopathy can come from subtle things sometimes like 
a recent change in your footwear, or a lack of mobility in your ankle joint, or even weakness in the muscles that support the foot arch. So if you're not improving, you might need to consider those. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing because it always helps. And let me know how you go in the comment section below. Okay, cheers.